Hello, welcome to Vedil Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see another VSCPR theory based question which has appeared in CSAR net December 23 paper. It is a numerical with question ID 701022. It's a very interesting question and a very simple one and we will observe the question and then come to a solution. So according to VSCPR theory, the geometries of FCLO and F5IO respectively are. So there are two compounds that are given and then we are asked to find the geometries. So usually what people will do is write the structure and then find the geometry. Uh, so, but then here we have uh, the shortcut method wherein we can just write find the valence electrons and from the valence electrons we can very easily find the geometry of the molecule. So that is what we are going to do now. Uh, so let us take FCLO first. So in FCLO, F, Cl and O are the three elements that are involved. So the valence electrons are counted. So oxygen has a valence electron of 6. The halogens have a valence electron of 7. So there are two halogens. So it adds up to 14. So the total number of electrons, valence electrons on this particular molecule is 20. So when we divide it by 8, we have a quotient which is 2 and a reminder 4. The, when you divide the reminder by 2, you get Two as an answer. So the quotient equates to bond pairs, the reminder equates to lone pairs. So the total number of bonds is 2 plus 2, 4. So when a molecule has an adds up to, uh, to 4 as the number of bonds, then it uh, uh, is of the type AX4 type. So if it is AX4, the geometry of the molecule is tetrahedral. Similarly, for F5IO, we have taken the valence electron count and it adds up to 48 and you divide it by 8 you get only a quotient and a 0 as a reminder. So the total number of bonds for this particular molecule is 6. So it is of the type AX6 type and so the parent geometry is octahedral. So uh, both these molecules, we have found the geometry. The question is asking us only about geometry. So by using this shortcut method, we can very easily find the answer without even knowing which among the following is the central atom. Because in VSCPR theory, we must know the element which is more electropositive will be the central atom and then it will be surrounded by electronegative elements. So when you are talking about the electronegativity of the halogens, we know fluorine is the most electronegative element and uh, followed by the other elements in uh, in the periodic table. So in this particular case, we have fluorine, chlorine, iodine, and then oxygen. So when we compare the electronegativities of fluorine, chlorine, iodine, and oxygen, we see that fluorine is the most highly electronegative element. So fluorine cannot be the central atom. So when, when in this case, in FCLO, we see chlorine has an electronegativity of 3.6, whereas oxygen has an electronegativity of 3.44. So chlorine is the least electronegative. So chlorine will be the central atom in this particular case. Uh, so the molecule will have a bond like this. So the low lone pair of electrons is on the central atom that we are talking about. So the bonding is bent, that is the shape is bent, but the parent geometry is tetrahedral and the two lone pairs are on chlorine atom. So if there was a question on the number of lone pairs and what is the element that has a lone pair of electron, then you please remember it is not oxygen atom, it is chlorine atom. So now coming to the next case. So here again you see between uh, fluorine iodine and oxygen we see we know fluorine is ruled out so between iodine and oxygen the electronegativity of iodine is 2.66 whereas oxygen is 3.4 so obviously iodine will be the central atom so because iodine is the central atom we have the fluorine surrounding it so this is the uh, structure of uh, FiIO4 and actually in this case iodine is the central atom so the geometry is octahedral so if you are asked which among these is central atom, we must remember the most electropositive or the least electronegative element will be the central atom. So in this particular question, we have found that 
the geometry of these two molecules is tetrahedral and octahedral. Thank you. Kindly like and subscribe to our videos. Uh, you will uh, have a lot more videos coming up based on the UGC CSIR uh, December 2023 question paper. Thank you.